This is taming the beast inside the red teaming llama process. So in case anyone didn't know, these large language models are, well, pretty large. Llama 2 was trained on over 2 trillion tokens. But 2 trillion tokens isn't cool. You know what's cool? 15 trillion tokens. <laughs> but us humans, you know, we've got some improvements to make generally. What kind of risks are lurking in 15 trillion tokens of training data? From the war games of 19th century Prussia to Cold War nuclear simulations and to hacker villages at DEF CON, one idea has persisted. It's the red team. And its mission is to think like the enemy, to challenge assumptions, to expose blind spots. But in 2025, the red team has entered a new battlefield. It's artificial intelligence. And according to a new research paper, we may be getting it dangerously wrong. In this study, Red Teaming AI Red Teaming by Subdahara Majamdar and colleagues argues that AI Red Teaming has strayed from its roots. What began as a broad exercise in critical thinking is now reduced to a narrow hunt for model bugs. That tension, deep strategy versus shallow exploits, is the core conflict we explore in this episode of AI Wars. In 1812, the Prussian army introduced Kriegspiel. It's a tabletop simulation where blue represents their forces and the red enemy. This gave birth to the idea of the red team. During the Cold War, RAND simulations used red teams to think like Soviets. After 9-11, the U.S. military institutionalized red teams to stop group thinking and to connect the dots. And by the 1980s, the NSA brought red teaming into cybersecurity. Tiger teams probed classified systems. Later, the discipline expanded from physical penetration tests to adversarial emulation, codified in frameworks like the MITRE attack. Fast forward to generative AI, and in 2023, DEF CON hosted the largest AI red teaming exercise in history. Thousands of hackers probed systems like ChatGPT for jailbreaks and toxic outputs. Suddenly, AI red teaming became a buzzword in policy, academia, and media. But researchers warned this modern practice has drifted far from its original purpose. So why does it matter? Because if AI red teaming only finds quirky model outputs, it misses the bigger failures, poison data sets, compromised supply chain, or agentic systems evolving in ways no one predicted. Researchers argue that this narrowing could undermine AI governance, leaving us blind to systemic risks. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Subscribe for more deep dives into the future of intelligence, AI, and humanity. The authors propose a two-level framework, macro-level red teaming spanning the entire AI lifecycle. It covers inception, design, data, and deployment. At inception, asking if AI is even needed. It's asking assumptions about human AI interaction. At data, it's probing for bias, poisoning, and privacy leaks. At deployment, it's ensuring resilience against real world stress, even at retirement, which prevents legacy risks. And then there's the micro level red teaming, probing models directly, boundary testing, discovering edge cases, and exposing harmful behaviors before deployment. But beyond the macro and micro, the paper introduces a meta-level perspective. Using systems theory, they warn of emergent risks, vulnerabilities that only appear when AI agents interact with each other, with humans, and with other environments. These are the failures no single prompt injection can reveal, but they can destabilize entire systems. The paper lays out six battlefield orders for the future of AI red teaming. Adopt systems thinking. Pair red teaming with testing and validation. Build coordinated disclosure infrastructure. Create feedback loops between systems and model testing. Develop the threat models for emergent behaviors. And monitor continuously for drift and evolution. Red teaming was never meant to be just a bug hunt. It was designed to challenge assumptions, expose blind spots, and prevent catastrophe. The real war inside AI isn't between humans and machines. It's between two versions of red teaming itself. One narrow, technical, and reactive. The other strategic, systemic, and prepared for the future. So ask yourself, what kind of red teaming do you want leading the future of AI?